Happy birthday! I'm coated with mascara. It's right here. Birthday fair. No. <laughs> I don't know why I'm feeling wine, but I'm feeling wine. Yeah, that's cute. <laughs> it's just super long and it's so soft. I'm on, I just hope that you miss me. Hey guys, I'm in such a huge funk right now. I don't know how to get myself out of it. Like, I just am, like, good. But if you guys look outside, it looks like the... So maybe that's the reflection of my attitude, but like, I've been crying today, not gonna lie. I don't even know if this is a new vlog. I hope it's not a new vlog, because this is not the way I wanted to start it off. But I've been crying today, and I don't know, like, I don't know if like, I'm just letting stuff get to me, or like, I'm too hard on myself. Like, I'm getting out of the house to just kind of like, make myself feel better. I'm going to buy this bookshelf, because I want to do like, the bookshelf closet space in my room. Not the whole closet space, obviously but like i just want one bookshelf to give a college space because you guys know i have like a lot of purses and jewelry and accessories anyways like i'm just trying to push through that through the mood i'm in when i'm irritated i really don't like talking to anybody i don't want to talk to anybody and like when i talk to people the attitude comes out and it's like you didn't even give me an attitude but like now i'm giving you attitude because i'm irritated so like one through ten i feel like a five and i'm really trying to get myself out of it i don't even know what to do to get myself out of it like it's nothing you could do i'm hoping that a little re retail therapy would help even though this is really not retail therapy for me like i don't even i don't even know what i'm trying to tell myself is like this is temporary feelings like this is just temporary you shouldn't be down about it oh i feel like i'm gonna fucking cry I don't know like I'm kind of torn between the two because it's like am I just feeling like this because like I need to like reconnect back close with God per se because like you know I've been off a little bit um I've been way off not even a little bit like I've been off for like months I'm not gonna lie the reason I got off of reading my bible is because I was so bored while reading it and like I know that's not a good thing to say but like I'm just gonna be honest like, but it's just like I got bored and then I got busy so it was like, I would just push it off, like, not read my Bible, not read my Bible, not read my Bible. And so I feel like that's just, like, why everything is going the way it is. It's because I need to, like, reconnect and, like, get back grounded. I feel like that's why I've just been feeling like this, because I've never been, like, this unmotivated since I started reading my Bible and, like, spending time with God. I've never felt like this unmotivated and this down. Like, yeah, I felt like, damn, like, okay, like, life, I can't figure life out where I got God, like, and it's not to say like I don't feel like I can't figure life out and I don't feel like I don't have God, but it's just like right now like it's just hitting hard. It's hitting harder than before. It's semi hitting how it used to hit when I wasn't connected. And so that's why I feel like I need to get back connected. My phone's been on DD all day today. Like nobody talked to me. I don't want to talk to anybody. This is what I'm looking for. It's the five shelf book. Watch your finger. Thank you. No problem. Why is it so heavy? It's so heavy. The life of a girl moving back in with her parents. So freaking exciting. Hey y'all. Oh Jesus. I'm being Bob the Builder. Hey guys. So let me turn down the air. Well, let me not turn it off because I just got that cold air. But hey y'all. So today is July 9th. Uh, it's Jada's birthday and we are on the way to the pool because that's what Jada's doing for her birthday today Earlier today, we were supposed to be going to be they said that they had the place had texted us and said that they have high E. coli levels. I wasn't getting no E. coli um, thing because E. coli kills. <laughs> so we all refunded our stuff and now we're just going to the pool. And y'all see, I washed my hair and my hair curly is really cute. Putting on the Ola Hendrick. Hendrickson, I don't know how to really pronounce the name, um, lip treatment, peptide lip treatment, and strawberry sorbet. It's, it tastes so good and it smells so good. Um, I washed my hair this morning. I just washed it, conditioned it, and then literally put gel on it right after. And then I had to go get an oil change today. Shout out to Pretty Privilege. Also had to go get some coolant because my dad had to um, add 
the coolant, you know, get the cold air blowing because girl, I haven't been driving my car for like maybe not even a week. I wanna say before 4th of July and today is July 9th. So it's been about five days, six days. I haven't been driving my car just because I needed an oil change and I needed um, cold air. I had stopped by Publix to get um, a sandwich because I haven't ate all day. I really just been waiting around, honestly, for Jada to leave the house and be on the way to the pool because she said she was on the way to the pool at 1.30. It is currently 4.30 on the dot now. So y'all see how time works. And now me and Mia are about to meet up at the liquor store to get some liquor. I really want wine. I don't know why I'm feeling wine, but I'm feeling wine. I haven't even talked to y'all since when I was sad. Okay, so like, I went to church on Sunday. I didn't show you guys that, but I went to church on Sunday. I received a great word. I, my spirit was filled, and you could feel like the Holy Spirit and God in the room. So I was really satisfied with church on Sunday, but I feel like that really like pushed me to go back into my Bible and pushed me to go read my Bible. So yesterday, which was Monday, I read my Bible for the first time in like, three months and then today I read my Bible today again too the reason I was mad the other day I'm not gonna go into but the reason I was mad the other day I just kind of like gave it to the Lord I don't really want to worry about it which everything doesn't happen overnight like of course I'm still worried about it but as you guys can see I'm out and about and it's like it is what it is it's gonna get better it's temporary it's all a lesson at the end of the day so yesterday I went and filmed um, some content for Turbo Day I did not vlog because I didn't think like I was gonna be there that long. And now I'm coming up with like ideas of what I wanna do for my birthday. I know for my birthday, I just wanna go to the spa. By the time y'all seeing this, hopefully my birthday is literally not around the corner by the time y'all seeing this video. And I don't know if I wanna do something with my friends. I was really thinking a lot of solo this year just because like, I don't know. Like, cause I'm not going out of town. Yeah, I just really want to get a facial and like get a massage and go out to eat and go to a nice dinner place. Like, like just nice dinner, you know, just a nice dinner place. Woo! I don't even know. I need to find a restaurant on where I want to go out to eat at because I know I want to get like dressed up and really cute. I don't want to go to where everybody in Atlanta goes to. Like I don't want to go to no Atlanta restaurant with the grass wall. I don't want to go to a restaurant. Well, I mean the restaurant can have hookah. I'm not really too particular on that. But also at the same time, like I want to just go to a nice restaurant that the girls can get cute for. All my friends can get cute for. Put on their best outfits. Do they want to choose? because y'all know how I say, if we're gonna go to dinner, you gotta put on your best outfit, if, especially if it's for somebody's birthday. Put on your best, I obviously don't look better than the damn birthday girl. When you're in a friend group with just a bunch of bad, nobody can look better than nobody. We all look the good, we all look great. It's like no competition, you get what I'm saying? But I know that's a touchy topic for a lot of people. Yeah, I need to figure out what I'm gonna do for my birthday because my birthday is coming up and I am a birthday girl, I am never not, tens about my birthday like my birthday matters to me i'm turning 22 years old if y'all didn't know i will not be 21 anymore i'll be 22 like i'm literally two years old in my 20s and that's crazy so i think i pretty much catch y'all up on everything i'm super hungry like i'm really ready to eat but yeah that's it that's all this camera is on four percent um, but I do have another battery, so don't worry. And I'm getting a headache because I'm super, super hungry. So, and I'm 23 minutes away, so I'm gonna talk to you guys when I get there. Y'all, we made it to the pool. Say hi, guys. Say hey. Mama, can you give me a warning next time? Hi, guys. <laughs> Say hey. Say hey. Okay. <laughs> Wait, wait, don't get it from right here. Hold on, Say hey, girl. <laughs> These sexy ass bitches. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Oh, my. Yeah, that's cute. We're trying to figure out our plans for the rest of the night. It's currently. Today is just it's 5.51. 5.51. We don't know what we got going on. Hey, guys. So I look a hot mess, but oh, I just left from the grocery store. Uh, I get my hair done tomorrow, so don't do too much. This is actually going to be a maintenance vlog because I get my nails done and my hair done tomorrow. So why not say maintenance in there too? Tonight I'm making spaghetti and then tomorrow I might make rotel. So we got two things, hub spaghetti. Y'all know the whole controversy on the Prego thing in my previous vlog when we was in Tallahassee. Okay, y'all, I didn't know I actually get Prego. I actually do get Prego. So, <laughs> I got the Prego Roast um, 
garlic herb and I got the prego tomato basil because I like basil in my spaghetti. I got some parmesan because we don't have any more. I got some rotel and mild. I really didn't have to get this because we already have a big thing, like a big thing of rotel, but I'm not making this much rotel. So I was like, let me just get this and plus it's in mild. So. Y'all know I got an Olipop, strawberry vanilla. I feel like I like Olipops more than poppies. But you guys know, like I always shift. I be like poppy more than Olipop. But right now I'm on an Olipop kick. Strawberry vanilla and peaches and cream have been my favorites, my go-to. So yeah. This is some hot sauce because this is the best hot sauce in the world. Some of y'all were saying previously in another video that Louisiana, no. Texas Pete and only Texas Pete. I got some tortilla scoops because these are really good. But I also got some Dorito chips because I still want to have some some variety. And the big bag of Dorito chips was five dollars, actually six dollars. That's insane. I got some taco seasoning because the rotel, the Vita cheese, the rotel. I got this big thing kombucha. Y'all know I don't play by my kombucha. I've never had this flavor. Guava goodness. So yeah, we're gonna try that together. And I really feel like kombucha helps with bloating for me per se. So yeah, got some lunchables because. Tomorrow I am not going to be in the house. I am, my nail appointment is at 11. This camera's about to die. My nail appointment is at 11. Then I have to go to um, this video shoot at 1. Then I get my hair done at 4.30. It's just a lot. Vanilla ice cream for the s'more cookies. Onions for spaghetti. And Caesar salad because I'm a Caesar salad kind of girl. Ground beef. I've never had the ground beef that comes like this. I always have the ground beef that comes like in the packet. And I finished editing my entire video. Aren't you guys proud of me? I'm about to start cooking because I have a headache. Bye. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, sisters. So today is Friday, I think. It's July 12th. I know that for sure. And it's 1040. I'm currently on the way to my nail appointment. I have to go get my nails done. As you guys can see, these have to go away so we can get some new ones. And y'all know my nail broke the other day. I think I'm going to do a French tip. And I don't know if I'm going to do um, Mike Square. I'm not sure. I don't know what I'm feeling like. But I definitely have my inspos. And I definitely have some ideas flowing through my head. So we're going to see what Asia thinks. I woke up 7 o'clock this morning. Blow dried my hair. Washed my hair. Blow dried my hair. I had did my lashes. As you guys can see, I did my lashes. And I mapped them a little differently. So on um, one eye, if y'all don't know, like one eye is smaller than the other. Well, not really smaller than the other. One eyelid is lower. So basically what I did was 12, 14, 16, 16, 14, 12. And then on this eye, since this eyelid is not as um, lower than this one, I did 10, 12, 14, 16, 16, 14, 12. But this eye was giving me a little problems. Like this eye is cute as hell. And this is usually the eye that gives me the most problems because the eyelid is lower. But this eye is giving me problems because the 16, 16, I don't know. And I got out the house by 948, I wanna say, or 946. And that was perfect. I had to go pick up my ID because I left my ID at, um, oh, I didn't mean to do that to you. I had left my ID at my grandparents' house. Y'all about to die, but I brought my charger, so I'm gonna charge y'all at the nail appointment. So bye. Okay, y'all. Me and Aja, say hey, Aja. Hey, y'all. Oh, I wasn't in the camera. <laughs> say hey, Aja. Hey, y'all. <laughs> me and Aja are about to do a TikTok with a sound. Should I wear these though? We can mock it with that one. Okay. Then, so, this right. don't match, Aja. It's cute though. Let me go look in the mirror. Go look in the mirror. I don't like these glasses. I'm gonna take them off. Okay, go get yours. Do you no. wear some? No. Just gonna be regular. How should I be? I should be stressed? Do I look stressed? No. <laughs> you look happy to be here. <laughs> okay. I don't know how stress looks. Uh, do you need to watch she it one more time? I was wearing Yes. Okay. Okay. One, two. Well, it says start counting down. Yeah. Three, two, one. How's that look? <laughs> it looks good. Okay, let me stay like right there. When it say three, tell me so I can start to okay. act the ladies. I could do better. Because <laughs> I'm like, I'm freaking yelling at them. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Like, three, two, one. Jeff, did you read the vanity? Wait, Jeff, did you read the vanity? <laughs>
Yeah. That one, it's like it's four. It's like yeah. it's four seconds. Okay, let me know if I should wear glasses. Is this recording? Is this video recording? What? This video on your camera? Yes. Seven, six, five, okay. four, three, two, one. Oh, wait. <laughs> Low battery, brother. <laughs> what? You can't win. What's your get the idea? She gonna be looking like she working, doing stuff, and it's like I'm bothering her as she working. Three, two, one. When I said one, literally look, look up. up and say Jeff. Okay. But that look good. Three, yes. one, two, three. Jeff, did you read the Vanity Fair article? That was the best one. <laughs> yeah, that was good. One more time, cause okay. I. I, I, I one more time, so I was wearing little brown pants. Okay. One, two. Wait, should I put lip gloss on my lips tray? No, you can if you want to. Okay. Ready, set, go. Oh, that was still cute. Good. But I so I just arrived at my hair appointment. Well, I just arrived at the appointment. I'm waiting for her to come outside right now. I put on some blush and some lip gloss. The same combo. Like, you know, the same one-two combo I had for um, AGP. So, yeah. I still got some work to do when I'm in this chair. I have to film content for her, but I also need to um, post some content for Asia. And then, y'all, this freaking hair I got from Snob, like, smells like fish. And I don't like that. And I, this kind of, I don't like that because, like, I would have washed the bundles. And I haven't used these since I got them. And I got these. Black Friday. Oh, I think this is her. Thank you to Jane. <laughs> it came out really cute. Y'all, why don't I just come in here and remember that I left my freaking battery charger in Jamie's house. Anyways, I had to come get this a bunch of seasoning because we don't have any i need to text her and tell her i left my charger anyways let's get the other stuff if you know you know garlic powder is like literally the hardest thing to buy i'm so mad i left my charger <laughs> so irritated i left that okay y'all uh, so it is currently 228 it is baby shower day so i just washed my sheets so don't mind that y'all but it is currently baby shower day so as you guys well you guys don't know but my friend london is having a baby she's having a baby girl and i'm so excited because i don't know y'all know i don't know if i was telling y'all i don't know but i just always been wanting one of my friends to have a baby and i just been wanting a baby well i don't want a baby but i'm saying i've been wanting to like somebody close to me to have a baby and like nobody close to me has, has had a baby like i've known other people like friends of my friends have baby but like they not that close to me like where i could watch their kid but now my friends having kids so thank you jesus i did buy um a gift off the registry and things like that so we're getting dressed for the baby shower i'm super excited my outfit is laid out back there um I really don't even know what like you wear to a baby shower so I don't even know if that's like baby shower appropriate because it kind of got a little cleavage but like not not real sexy but you know it's definitely cute this hair is super thick and I'm gonna have to curl it because yeah but this looks like a freaking 28 y'all it is a 24 the longest length is 24 but when I tell y'all snob life hair is the truth and y'all know it's crazy London actually put me my friend who having a baby today she put me on the snob life but yeah, I don't know what I did with what I did yesterday because the curls didn't even stay yesterday. But as y'all see, this hair is so thick. I usually use Amazon hair. Like y'all know I use whatever hair that um I have at the moment from like for like a sponsorship. I'll still put that, I'll reinstall that back in my head. But I'm not gonna lie, I've had these bundles for a long time. I've had these bundles since November and I've never used them because I was just like waiting on the moment. But I was like, forget it. I'm just going to use them now for this install. It's just super long and it's so soft. It's so it's such a different quality from Amazon hair. And it's really, you can really tell. Like, you can really tell. Like, by just feeling it. 
and even just looking at it like i really just want to put some curls in there in my hair i don't have a curling iron because y'all know i usually like be using my friend's curling iron but i don't have one but i don't even know when the last time y'all saw london it's been a minute like last time y'all probably saw london and the last time i saw london i'm not gonna lie was london birthday i need a curling iron y'all know i have my t3 um, T3 flat iron, but I don't like this flat iron anymore. I got it on sale, anyways, but I don't like this flat iron anymore because it is super thick. Like, and I don't know that I did the time that I did this, I don't know the differences of flat irons, and I still don't know the differences of flat irons. But this is super thick. Can y'all see that? Like, I don't know, and it's really dirty, but yeah, I do not like flat iron curls, but. We gonna try it out. Get your Sebastian. Get your Sebastian. This is Sebastian. I, I know y'all seen y'all hairstylists use it. I am currently posting a video. Y'all know I usually go to the library, but I didn't go to the library this time because I'm trying to edit another video and I was hungry. I was using the bathroom, I was whitening my teeth. I was just so many other factors. And two. I want to know what's crazy. I really learned how to curl from my probate. Like, after becoming an AKA, the way I was putting on makeup and doing my hair almost every single day, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. It was literally something to do every single day where I had to look presentable and curl my hair. So, that's when I really learned, like, how to curl my hair. It's, I'm about to do this. It's currently 2.39. I'm probably not, it starts at 3.30. I'm probably gonna be late, not gonna lie. But, it's fine, because I'm pretty sure they starting on CP time anyways. Okay, so this is what I have right now, and I'll be back. Y'all, I've curled on my hair. My pants dropping. We about to do my makeup. Even though, like, we're really not about to do my makeup. If y'all watched the AGP vlog, which is the vlog before this, then y'all know, like, I've lost my Laura Mercier powder. And I haven't been doing my makeup since I lost it. Just because, like, it just don't hit the same. Because, obviously, that's my powder. Like, I just have to buy go buy a new powder at this point. So, i just really been doing blush, eyebrows. And my lip combo. I don't even really do my eyebrows though. Because I don't know how to do my eyebrows. And y'all know I got that eyebrow tint. So I just kind of like. Fill in. Like spots. And then like this eyebrow. Doesn't have a tail per se. So I kind of give it a tail. So makeup done. I put on blush. And I put on this like pinky. Can y'all see this way? This like pinky color. Curls is everywhere, but I'll take this out with y'all. I'm currently right now watching the Dier, um Cape Cabo trip. Really interesting. 324, so the baby shower has definitely started, and I still do not have my outfit on. I'd be shocked if it started on time, you know? So, yeah. My one-two is this blush. So, I really showed y'all in the last vlog, but just in case y'all ain't watched that vlog. These two blushes, this is a Milani blush in Berry Amore 03. I really like this brush. It's a blush because it's a really good, like, neutral, like, kind of corally, like, berry. I feel like it's really cute for summertime. And then I used this putty blush from e.l.f. And it is this pink color. I think this is Bora Bora. I don't know why I don't have it on there. I got this from Ulta. You can get this from, like, Target, Ulta, etc. They both sold at all those places. So, yeah. So, I put that on. And then I used this on my eyebrows. This is just an e.l.f. Um, eyebrow pencil this brush isn't as hard it's like a really soft brush but I actually kind of like that because what I usually use for my eyebrows is the clear elf gel and the, the dupe the Anastasia dupe and it's a little bit too hard like it's a little you know so I actually like this like natural like kind of messy but like cute look the mascara I use is the elf 
Lash Beat Mascara. And I use this on my bottoms. This is a defining and lengthening mascara. And that's why I use it on my bottoms a lot. Because I like that. But also when I don't have lashes on. Um, it also really like helps me get to each lash. And like coat it with mascara. So as y'all can see this is my lashes now. Y'all probably can't really see the bottom. But these lashes that I have on are from Amazon as well. These are the brushes I use. I use this e.l.f. brush. It's this putty bronzer brush. So it's basically meant for this. But I use this and I just like do this it's like an angled brush and then i go in to like fluff it out i use this flawless face flawless face brush from elf and then i went in with this this is the black radiance contour palette in medium to dark and i go in with this highlighter shade i never use the highlighter shade i usually just use um this shade i don't even use contour i usually just use the bronzer but i just used the highlighter shade today because i didn't feel like getting my bronzing drops but i just put that like you know right there so hopefully y'all can see it a little bit. So for my lip combo, I use this Nika Nika K New York um, eyebrow um, pencil. This is in the shade Espresso. It's really not that dark, so that's why I like it. But yeah, it also has a brow thing on the bottom. But I use this to line around my lips, and y'all know I overline my lips. And I usually don't do this, but today I went in with this Tarte Marijuana. Marijuana Juicy Shift and it's in this pink shade so like I think this is the only pink shade in the collection but this also plumps your lips um, and I haven't used this in a minute so I actually kind of like it today and it gave me like this pink finish and then I went in with the NYC Butter Gloss in Sugar High to so just like go on top of it. Yeah, that's what it gave me today. Like, it's like a really cute light color. And that's what I usually like for my lip combo. I don't like nothing dark. And I don't like nothing too bright. Now I'm about to comb through my hair. So just give me one quick second. Y'all, I'm late. I don't really care for my outfit. But this is what I have on. And these shoes don't even match. But I have on this OQC or OQQ top. Fashion over jeans, purse, and then I have all these Tory Burch shoes, but I don't think they match. And my room is super dirty, but here goes the fit. Okay. My hair didn't come out right. My hair just, I don't know, whatever. Anyways, I'm about to leave, and I'm not going to bring y'all. I'm just going to record on my phone, if anything. So, yeah, bye. Hey, guys, me and Hannah just made it to <laughs> Bro. It gets headed every time. Every time I turn on the camera, it gets headed. It'd be like, what are you doing? <laughs> Anyways, me and Hannah, oh Jesus. Me and Hannah just got to um, this Jamaican restaurant that I've been wanting for like the past days. Me and Hannah have been planning on coming here for so long. But it's Kingston. Oh, Kingston Caribbean restaurant. We're going to get the popular sandwich and then we're going to go to Aaliyah house. Jamaica! Yeah, girl. Oh, wow. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. It's hot in here. Right. Hey, y'all, so we got it. You see her. Get into it. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Food porn. <laughs> Anyways, we had a little house, y'all. Y'all finna get my first impression. I just gotta take a picture first. Okay, so it's cocoa bread, um, a patty, and oxtail and macaroni cheese. So we gonna pray. God is great. God is good. Let's thank for for our praise. First, we make for plants, animals, friends, my company. It's twenty dollars. Me and him split one. That's why I only have one side. First impression. It's too bready. Second thing. Okay, it's actually not that much. I was just expecting more. I, well, I just want oxtail. It's a little spicy. Got a little spice to it. I didn't know meat was gonna be in the beef patty. I thought it was just gonna be the crust. I'm not gonna lie. The cocoa bread is doing a lot. Will I get it again? No. No. I gotta really be craving it. For twenty dollars? No. The oxtail in here not even. The oxtail in here not that flavorful. 
I heard Odell Beckham brother on there. Yeah, he is. Hi sisters, I'm about to do my hair and I just left from Ulta so I'm about to give y'all a haul as well. Here's the stuff I got from Ulta. Well, actually we're going to just do a mini haul of everything because I have a pretty little thing package. I went to Ulta like I just got back from Ulta. I went to H&M yesterday and I went to Trojan's Place. So let's start off with Trojan's Place. So you guys know that London is having a baby. Y'all saw that in this vlog. This is literally in this vlog. So I got her baby like something off of the baby registry. But I didn't get, their, get um, her any clothes. So I wanted to get her some clothes. So let me show y'all what I got. And I was literally like every single baby thing I saw I was picking up but. She can't wear this no time soon. She won't be able to wear this till next year. But I had to pick these shirts up because they were only $5 and they were super, super cute. So, yeah. Future Leader. And it's with a black girl, which I thought was so cute. And it's in pink. I think it's so cute. And this is a 12 to 18 months. I thought this was so cute and I couldn't leave it because it had a black girl on it. Then I got her, which is so on brand. I got her um, expensive like my auntie because, yeah, I wanted to get her a shirt that said my auntie. That said auntie on it because... Yeah, I had to. So this is the same. Sh this is the shirt. It's in pink. Everything is in pink. I really think I'm starting to like pink, guys. But everything is in pink. And um, this is a 12 to 18 months as well. Look at how small this shirt is. This is so cute. Got her warmer shirt, which I feel like it's gonna be. It's so on brand for her and her mom, um, which it says in my princess era. This is 12 to 18 months as well. This is cute. This is the first shirt I saw, and that's what made me start picking up more shirts. But in my princess era is like tea because, yes, she is the little princess, and her mom is a freaking princess as well. Everything I got from Children's Place, I just wanted to show y'all that. I'm not giving London that till um, Milani is born. So, yeah, hopefully she's born on my birthday because that's kind of like around her due date, which is like August 1st, July 30th, or July 29th to like... The beginning of august so fingers crossed she's born on august 5th but the next thing i got was this necklace from h&m yesterday i've been wanting like a necklace because you guys know it's been a long time but i have lost some, well i broke my nalissimo likeness so it's been a minute since i've had my nalissimo necklace and i've been just wearing like you guys know i usually wear necklaces all the time so i got one in silver because now i have so much gold jewelry i don't have any more silver jewelry anymore so yeah, and this reminds me of the Cartier um, necklace, if you guys know what I'm talking about. So, I got this one. H&M Basic Tee. It is really sheer, though. Like, it's very sheer. Very sheer. Like, very thin. Y'all, can y'all see my nails? Y'all can low-key see my nails. It's really thin. But I think it's going to be cute. It's really lightweight, very summery. And I think it's going to be cute with just, like, a nude bra and, like, some jeans and some heels. I don't know. You could really dress it up. So that's what I was going for. Let's do Ulta. So you guys know I lost my Laura Mercier powder. So I went and bought another one. But I got the ultra blurring one. Which I've never. I realized that I don't. I didn't have the ultra blurring one at first. I just had the regular. But I got the ultra blurring one in Honey. Because yeah. It's been a long time coming without this powder. And I was off y'all. When I go on Ulta I be picking up too much stuff. But um, I did not know Morphe came out with like a mini duo set of the pink powder and their white translucent powder. And I really am scared of using white translucent powder so I didn't buy it. But it was only $12 which was really cheap compared to this which is $27 and the full size being like $40, $50. So yeah but you guys know I lost this and I haven't been wearing makeup in like maybe a month definitely want to say a month so i just got a new one and i'm not losing this one the only thing i hate about the laura mercier powders is it's no way to like keep all the powder in one like it just keeps spilling and spilling and spilling which i hate that but yeah this is the blurring translucent honey i always get the honey shade and i feel like it helps brighten my under eye as well which i do love then i got this paul mitchell um silk super skinny serum which is like a silking serum because i just want my hair to have like some shine and it also says it's um 
humidity resistant and so we'll see about that i just want my hair to have some shine it doesn't have that much shine as of right now it kind of looks a little dull that's why i want like more shine to it and etc this was ten dollars for this little thing but i've seen people use this and i feel like all paul mitchell products are pretty good and i feel like this can't go that bad it's just gonna add some shine if anything this is kind of like bio silk which i should have thought about that when i was inside the store i didn't think about that basically what i was looking for is like um jamie the girl who did my hair she was using this um spray that's from design essentials which i could not find design essentials in alta maybe they don't have design essentials in alta but um basically she sprayed it on my hair and it looked good like it looked good so i'm about to straighten my hair because i don't have a curling iron and y'all know me like if i'm set on something i'm gonna get it so instead of using like Instead of buying like a cheap curling iron off of Amazon, I'm just going to wait and get the curling iron that I desire, which is the one that Mia had or the T3i one. And then, pretty little things. So I do have another pretty little things package coming um, tomorrow, actually, I think, because everything cannot get shipped today because everything wasn't available when I sent it to like, um, I don't even know what to call it, like the girl, who's, the agent who's helping me, like my PLT rep. So let's see. But let me know if y'all ever use this because this is 16 free meals and the first box ships free with three surprises in it when you use this code so let me know if y'all use this so i got these these are these black flip-flops they mimic the chanel ones so they're like the chanel dupe and i seen these on fashion nova but i saw pretty good things um so of course i got them they had them in pink and they had them in black and white i was gonna get the pink but i'm like i have y'all know my everyday black sandal is my tory birch ones and they're actually kind of getting broken so i got these can I see <laughs> these are cute you do kind of got to stretch them out because, you know, this is like a little puffy. But I think these are going to be really cute. These are in a size 5 and I feel like I can get a lot of wear out of them. Especially where I'm going um, soon. These will be getting worn. Just a really casual shirt. It's really cute. Y'all probably won't get the idea of like how I'm trying to wear it. But um, it's just a really casual shirt. And then you wear like some baggy jeans with like some, maybe even these flip flops maybe even these and then like a bag with like accessorizing it i think this is just really cute and that's why i ordered it just because i know i can definitely get a fit out of it and you guys know like when i collaborate with pretty little things i have to like get um content in it with like the clothes so i know this will definitely be a cute outfit and it's just like a brunch outfit more of a thing or like just a running errands like but you know cute outfit so yeah i ordered this in a size small i think i got this in a size two i just got it I didn't know it was as this stretchy, so it probably won't be as tight on me. I wish I got it in a size and an extra small just so it could be really tight on me because that's how I want it to fit. Y'all know I used to have a bunch of blue light glasses, but I really don't know where they're at. You know, when you move, a lot of things end up missing. And these, I don't know if they meant blue lenses or blue light. What? I didn't expect them to be this blue. It's actually kind of throwing me off. Like, these are blue tinted, not even blue light. I got these, which they're these gold aviators, super tea. The only reason, like, I got them is because they inspired me from those. <laughs> it is kind of giving police officer just a little bit. But no, these are tea. These are super cute. I like these better than these. I just didn't know it was going to be as tinted as this. But I know I'm an accessorized girl, accessories girl. I have a bunch of different shades, a bunch of different options. Because when it comes to accessories, that's how you make your outfit look tea. And honestly, these glasses can go with one of these, this, or go with this. I'll probably pair it with this. Probably pair it with this. Yeah, with the, yeah this with the mm -hmm, with some heels and a good bag yeah i have another package of pretty little things stuff coming tomorrow so i'll probably show y'all that tomorrow but as of right now i'm about to do my hair and do my makeup because i'm about to film some content so i don't think you guys seen the update of this but this is like my closet i mean this is like my walk-in closet no but this is basically like a bookshelf that holds like my perfumes my purses and then below is going to hold my accessories that you've seen. Or probably even right here is going to hold my accessories. I don't really know. But like the glasses and the necklaces and things like that. That's where this is going to go. Basically, I have a sponsorship. I have to film some content with this. This is 
um, a diffuser. And this is going to go right here. I think it's going to go right here because this is going to go up here and this is going to go right here. Can y'all see how gloomy it is outside? It's very gloomy. You can see with the lighting coming inside, it's very gloomy. So, I'm just going to go get my light from downstairs to try to use that to make everything look better while I do my hair. But I'm definitely doing my hair today because I'm tired of looking like this. I probably am going to redo my lashes as well because I probably have to do it. I might not even do my straighten my hair. I'm going to like curl it probably. Yeah, because I really just don't want to do straight hair. I love girls. So, I just wanted to check in with you guys. Hey, okay, y'all. So, we in the same position. I don't even think I cut the camera back on after yesterday. But I have put these good-ass curls in. Now, look at my hair. Done for it. It's literally been 24 hours since those curls. And I just brushed my hair out. But I was also in the hot air today. I went and posted a video. My video was posted at 6. I went and... Hold on. Like, look, my edge is gone. Girl. I have some pretty little thing packages. And I want to open them up with y'all. Like, I just really need to find out a way to, like, keep my curls lasting. Like, y'all know Jada Jone. Um, her hair be lasting. Okay? And I just want my hair to look like that. This, I have no clue what's in here. Um, So, we're going to open this one up first. So, yeah, this is what I expected. Oh, oh my goodness. London had her baby. Let me tell y'all that. She had her yesterday. So, this it's cute but can y'all see y'all get it just the back basic bodysuit real cute it feels really good this actually feels like really good quality super stretchy it's a black sculpted contrast binding gem unitard leotard then i got this dress for my birthday it might not make sense but it's real different it's not in the ordinary for me but i think this is going to eat with my bob so that's why i'm into it and i saw lori harvey had it on this is just going to eat so we'll see about that but let's move over to this i feel like this could possibly be ulta i don't know what this is <laughs> i have no clue what this is i have no clue what this is this is definitely a surprise package three pair of jeans in here and i'm like maybe like it's like in the wrong size i hope they're not in the wrong sizes because like that. okay so let's start off with this um is this the top with the back out it's in this wine color which okay that's different not really me though this is in a size too so it's definitely in my size because this is not even in my size a size eight and jeans is not even they're basically like this, ruffled at the top, and then regular at the bottom. These are like baggy. I mean, we can see if they fit, but I know they're not going to fit because this is, the, oh, this is in petite sizes. So a U.S. and petite, okay, they might fit. Yeah, like these are too big. These aren't going to fit. I don't know who this is for. Like, I think stuff got mixed up. The crotch area is going to be a major issue for me. Y'all know I'm really petite. So, yeah, but these are actually really cute. Okay, this is weird. So, the style comes like this. Like, this is the style. Like, you can't even pull it up. Can y'all see that? Because it's tied down, which is odd. So, I guess this is the style. I guess you're supposed to wear these with them open. I do not like that open look. I'm not going to lie. Then the tag is on the back. So, you're going to have to wear it like this. But, anyways, this is a size 4. Is this petite? No, this is not petite. These are the Indigo Vintage Wash Fold Over Waistband Wide Leg Jeans. It's a mouthful, but they're just our regular jeans. Shout out to P.O.T. That's all I had to show y'all. Honestly, this vlog might be over because I don't know what's happening next. Like, I really don't have anything planned this weekend. Just really working on a bunch of content. Getting my ebook ready. So, update on my ebook. I am now in the final process of finalizing my ebook cover, which has really been the main thing. Like, so yeah, I'm in the final process of finalizing my ebook cover. End of July, beginning of August, and you guys know the beginning of the August is my birthday. My birthday is August 5th. I'm 22 years old. And I don't know what I'm doing for my birthday. Well, I do know what I'm doing. I want to go to the spa. That's all I really want to do. And then I might have a dinner. That's why I said that birthday dress. But honestly, like, the birthday dress would just be like, get cute, put makeup on, go take pictures and come back home. Like, it's not even that serious to me. So, um, 
yeah and i probably won't even do that on my birthday because i don't want to do nothing on my birthday but go to the spa and maybe go to dinner like i don't mind going to dinner if i do anything the only thing i really want to do on my birthday is go to the spa like that's all i want to do and it's crazy because if you guys know me like i usually am like birthday be plans in february like i know what i'm doing for my birthday in february you know what i'm saying i have my gift list ready in may but i just did my gift list yesterday and just sent it out so Shout out to anybody who got my gift list. <laughs> yeah, but if y'all want to give me a birthday present, just make sure you subscribe and just make sure that y'all follow me on all my social medias and make sure y'all comment and just say happy birthday. Honestly, if you're seeing this after August 5th, do not comment happy birthday if you're not seeing this after August 5th. But if you're here right now, comment a pink emoji. Yeah, that's really it. Like, I really don't have um nothing else to say. Uh, AGP vlog just went out today and I really want this vlog to be out at least by next week on Wednesday because I want to have back-to-back -back vlogs. And I don't think I'm doing a nice mar Nala Marathon this year. I don't think I'm doing a Nala Marathon, which is basically a Nala Marathon is where I post a video every single day up until my birthday, which is August 5th. So August 1st through the 5th is a video every day. And usually I'll be slacking on that because I'll be traveling out of the country on my birthday. So this year, I won't be doing that because I just really don't even know what to film. Like... Um, if I come up with some ideas, then I will do it. Like, I might do a hygiene haul. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it, but nothing for sure. Make sure you guys subscribe because we're on the road to 50K. And before we get to 50K, we got to get to 20K. And, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to see you guys in my next video. And bye.